It's Berlin, one round and four deals for 1000 dragon chips. And I see a green belt to my left and two brown belts to my opposite and to my right. Now, what can I do here? It's not fully irregular knitting, I mean, like bigger honors and knitted tiles or lesser honors and knitted tiles, but it can be... it can be all types. Just as another wrist came into my hand, I can consider collecting all types. I wanted to say about knitted straight, but I had too few tiles for it. 2, 5, no, 8, 3, 6, 9 dots, 2, 5, 8 cracks, no, 8 as I told, as I told, uh, 1, 4, 7 bams, no, 1, no, 7, just 6 tiles for knitted straight, and too few owners, it's easier to collect something like all types. Of course I want to make some interesting hand with this my student. I showed already many frequent hands like Chow's, but I'll be collecting what comes what comes from from the wall or from people. Pairs. Now, I have four pairs. I can go for punks and all types. I can go for seven pairs. Maybe not all types, but... All types is an interesting addition to seven pairs. Five. Okay. Now I go for pairs, as long as I quickly collected many pairs. Making punks without concealed punks now, I don't think it's, it's very useful. I'd better wait for pairs. I didn't discard any pairs so far. Nine. Okay, let's discard the six. Nobody needs it. The player to my right possibly collects half flushing cracks. I'd better don't give him nine. And now we see one concealed pung. Maybe I'll be collecting pungs. If I see some good forms, some good tiles discarded for me, I can consider collecting punks. I discarded one south, but if I remain with pairs, okay, punks they are. I can take pung of threes, it will be double pung. And it will add two points to my all pungs plan. All pungs cost six points and it's not enough to win. I need two more points, I hope to take... Ah, great. I hope to take Pang of Easts, of course, because it's prevalent wind and it, it will give me another two points. But I can take two as well. Mm -hmm. The play... Ah, great. Mm, melded Hand. Or oh, what did he want? Uh, he collects melted hands. Yes. I just... I just recalled that 
he likes to collect melded hands when possible. When he has nothing else, he considers collecting melded hands. Now, this is all types hand. This is possibly an all types hand and I'll be collecting it quickly. I know what to do. I just need some forms in BAMs. I have already a chow in dots, pang in cracks. I don't need the seven. I need another pang in pang of wests. Maybe some chow in BAMs. And I hope for some some dragon of course maybe another white maybe green who can tell at least i know what to discard i know that i can discard east i can discard three i can discard six no bams are in discard now. Nobody discards BAMs, you see. People hold BAMs. I hope that something will come from the wall. No, no, no. Pangs? Hmm. Pangs. Maybe I'll collect some punks after all. The player to my left maybe collects another melded hand. I can hope for the last seven. I can discard four, by the way. Okay, yes. One cracks discarded, I can take it for a Kong. Of course, you never can take the fourth, the fourth tile for a Kong. Three bams. Huh, the player to my right. The player to my right discarded four. She doesn't want mixed shifted pangs. She wants simply pang hand. And she now is ready. Ready for what? That's a question. The question. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fours are discarded. She can win with anything as long as she has an active active melded hand. I mean she has six points in her hand. She has eight points okay, if she doesn't wait for an honor she has eight points all pangs pang of terminals no honors where are my wests by the way to the opposite what about seven Yes, I can win with seven because it will be pang of terminals and one voided suit. And all pangs, of course. No. I need just west. No sevens for me. I can win with west now only. 
Let's hope I'll take west. He's collecting up a four. Six bams goes to the opposite. Yes, too dangerous a hand. And five bams goes there. My wests were in the wall. Okay, all punks melded hand, not bad. She waited for five. Hmm. Another plan for half flush. Half flush, really. I can consider collecting all types, but I need good tiles for it now. No. Another option. Another option. I can try to make pure shift chows. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. I can leave east says my eyes and wait for chow in cracks. Aha. Uh -huh. I'd better collect half flush. A flush is easy, is closer now, simply closer. But either I make east my eyes or I wait for something else, maybe for two dots as my eyes. Twos as my eyes, maybe nines as my eyes. And can declare a pang of Easts and Chow something like three, four, five, or four, five, six. I can discard two, by the way. No, I can't. I'd better discard this one. Seven dots. Now, if I take Pang of Easts, I'll discard nine. If I take Pang of Twos, I'll discard nine. If, yes, I take this Chow and discard nine now. So I'm waiting into two Pangs. Two and east. East will give me four points as long as it's my sit wind and prevalent wind. Let's see who else can be ready now. The opposite player maybe waits for something interesting. Uh huh. He skipped the first. But took the second. All dragons are useless. The opposite player wants possibly pangs. One cracks discarded recently. I can't switch to anything. You see, I can't switch to... Ah, I can switch to something like Chow's if I take three dots. But why would I make it? No threes come into my hand, and if it comes... One... One, two, three, two, three, four. Yes, I just take it. Yes, East was there to my opposite. And here was a melded hand. And here we could see some punks, but too far from ready hand. Good, I collected 
half flush from the wall. I am at the first place, it's our last deal now, and I see another pairs plan. Four pairs I see. Four pairs. And I don't want to meld, sorry. I'd rather wait for pairs or punks. Concealed punks. Firstly, concealed punks and maybe... Not so concealed. Okay. The opposite player wants to collect half flushing dots. Okay, let's go for punks. The player to my right possibly collects either cracks or something else. Maybe cracks. She discards good tiles in dots and bands now. I just want to show you how you can collect punks from just four pairs, you see? I had four pairs from the beginning without concealed punks and now we watch how you can collect punks from four pairs. Six dots is useless. That's interesting. Let's wait for two cracks a bit. Maybe I'll collect triple pung. I don't want to discard two just because I want to wait. If I take another east, of course I'll switch to all types of punks is discarded. Four dots melted once. And better wait for some good tiles, but I discarded good tiles, of course. What else could I do? I don't know what to discard and discard fresh tiles. Hmm. She discards cracks as well. Another five. I discarded good pair. This is the last five, by the way. Last tile and someone could win if he would be ready. This is my two. Another two. Okay, I'll be discarding twos. Uh, sorry, not twos. The last remaining two. No, I don't need the last tile now. I can wait for four. By the way, nobody discarded four. One I see here. Threes. Three threes discarded. But I already discarded two and five. I could consider collecting something like last tile. For last tile I have four more points already. Pang of dragons and double pang. Two and two. Okay. One four discarded, but I can wait for another four or for nine. Three outs for me. Waiting into two punks with three outs. Eight is a fresh tile. 
I can feed. The worst outcome can be if I feed into an expensive hand to the player to my right. She can take something good and she can drop me to the second place. But she's collecting a melded hand now. Maybe she wants upper four, by the way. This looks like upper four now. She discard the last three. And maybe she holds my nine. She can take this seven as well. No, she maybe already has six, seven, eight, and as long as all sixes, she has seven, eight, nine. She has seven, eight, nine, and she doesn't need another seven. She doesn't need another seven. She discards seven. By the way, seven cracks here, here. Uh huh. Lucky player to my opposite. Collected two dragons and half flush. Nice hand, but she didn't even make positive score. Okay, let's take a look at the player to my right. Yes, she was waiting for eight or six. She discarded seven. By the way, she didn't want to wait for six or nine. You see? She had two sixes. What about other sixes? Mm, I don't see other sixes cracks on the table. She waited for six or eight instead of six or nine. Okay. What about the play to my left? He held my nines. He wanted some pairs or punks. He waited for... Maybe he waited for, for more pairs. He had six, he had eight needed to the play to my right. He had four needed to me. Eight dots, nine bams, safe. Why he held nine bams, I don't understand, sorry. He wanted the last one. The last one was there. Maybe he wanted to hold it. Maybe he didn't want to discard it, as long as he was afraid to feed there. And... I couldn't... Possibly, possibly he could discard this four cracks, but he didn't, and he hardly would discard nines. He could discard eight and fit there to the upper four. Mm, eight, another eight cracks was in the wall, and I could pick it and fit there. That could be the worst outcome as i told if i f would feed into that hand of uh, upper four upper four twelve and mix double chow 13 and five flowers 18 18 points her hand cost 18 points so i would pay 26 and I remain with uh, something like 59. Yes, 59 points for me. She had 13. 13 points. And she would take uh, 42. 13 plus 42. 55. Aha. Uh -huh. I could even remain at the first place, even if she dis, uh, even if she take uh, up a four from me. Yes. Hmm. Well, that's it. I took 
two hands and remain in the first place and all other players remain negative. I have the total plus. Thanks all.